Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. This is, of course, episode 13 of Space Engineers. I hope it's a lucky episode, but the number wouldn't say so. But anyhow, let's move on. So, this is what we're looking at, is my Freedom Class Cruiser. It's basically a torpedo slash hydro missile ship. You know the missile pods you see on the helicopters? I've redesigned them and put them like this on a staggered sort of platform so we can do a lot of damage. I've got a target lined up, but I just want to show you around the ship. So we've got Hydra missiles underneath. We've got to get through my reactive armor layers. People are obviously asking, why, why the hell's he got these on here? Well, I feel that in multiplayer that the most important thing you can do is protect your ship. So to protect this ship and protect its cargo, I've built these outer sort of defensive pads. So basically if a rocket or a machine gun hits it, it has to break through that layer before it actually gets to my internal hull that's made of multiple levers as well. These are just like the reactive armor that I've talked before. It'll be just one more layer of something for a torpedo or rocket to hit. So up at the front, we've got two massive torpedoes. These are just basically the armored piercing design um, in a really thin sort of shape, but they've not got the screwdriver effect underneath, so they'll just penetrate and most likely bounce off. Down the other side, we've got the same, and in the hull below, we have a number of um, Hydra style rockets once again. We've got loads in there, so this should be the ultimate freedom ship. And we've got a nice little target over there, not so happy alien. But we'll engage him later. Let's take it around the ship. So, I don't know if you guys have worked out a really nice way to get in these ships. I was thinking about doing something like, um, you know, a lift that comes down from underneath like you see in the movies. And that's how you get in. But so far, this is the main way in. So you're like... Well, sorry, that was a bit of a dramatic introduction. But, so this is basically it. So I'll just turn us around show you the actual cabin bit itself. So we've got this area... No, I'm just joking. These are um, the giant lights you can get that are for outside your ship. I think they work really well inside as well. So, as I was talking about before, defending your ship, I think, is going to be a real big important part. So, I've got two turrets up at the top here, and I've got a ladder mechanism that I think will make it a lot harder as well. And since I believe in multiplayer, jetpacks will rely on a fuel source. It means that people can't be jetpacking all around. Moving on to multiplayer, a lot of people have talked about multiplayer and given ideas and people are asking me when the release dates and stuff is and I don't know anything about this, I've looked into it but I think this this has got to come a, a long way yet. So we're moving into a cargo area here but this is also the um, ship's crew quarters. So back to the multiplayer aspects of it, I think there's going to be a lot more features yet. I mean the weapons have not even been introduced and my opinion of what will actually happen is that this game will either play in two ways. It will play either like Minecraft, sort of survival, sort of Hunger Games on that sort of thing, or you'll have the opposite and the, the way I would really like it to be played in more of a, like an extreme deep space survival where maybe there'll be different modes, maybe there'll be like a hardcore, but I mean if you just look in your inventory, oh actually my inventory is completely empty now, but normally there's an assault rifle and some other equipment in there, but basically, I think that is going to be pretty damn interesting just to see how they actually work it because you have big scale assaults, you've got machine guns, you've got rockets, you've got everything. It's going to be really interesting to tie it together and see how they do the damage functions. So we're back out here. Basically, that was just another cargo area. And in the wings, this is something I want to talk about. I'm building a way of like ramping rockets up. You know, like say the rocket storage is here, we could have a loader like a machine gun, and you'd load the rockets in here, so I'll just show you what it's going to do. So, I've, I've actually built it outside the ship, so I could get it around, because sometimes you have to really work it out in your head before you actually build anything. So here it is, basically this is the concept, so what I would do is we'll just put the hood back on, so like so, we'll take a rocket like this, and we'd have like, how to say, a belt of rockets, so let's just build this like so here. So now just imagine this, right, there's a belt of rockets here separated, say by, um, let's say like by a row like this, okay, so there's a belt of machine gun rockets. So now we've basically going to make ourselves a rifle bolt action sort of feature, so obviously that's out of line, but imagine if it was over there. Basically what happens is this machine part comes back, like it zooms out here, this would be obviously extended onwards, I've just made it for quick reference. And what will happen is it will ram this rod back in that will snap the actual cuffling off and then allow it to actually be fed into the actual chamber that in this case would be here. 
So this could work. I mean, I don't know how it would work with the physics, but I'm experimenting around with it. But you could also use this as like a pod. So imagine I was like here, and this was the ship's deck, and he's like, oh, Captain, we need the torpedoes ready. And then the next minute he's like, oh, okay, I've got the torpedoes in the tube. And, just like, and he brings the torpedoes out here, and then he's like, are right, we ready to move, Captain? And he's like, just fire at your angry alien over there. <laughs> I can't, seriously can't look at him without taking it seriously. So we'll just take a look around the ship. So the main idea of this ship was to fit as many weapons as I possibly could because this is the last episode that I'm going to be targeting on torpedoes for a while unless something really amazing happens or someone tells me about something epic. Then I wanted to go out with an extremely big bang. So the back of the ship, it looks like something you've seen in a movie before. I just thought it'd be nice to contain all the engines with inside for added protection as well. Right, so let's start this thing up. I've not yet started it up, so we'll have to see if it needs any more power. I use my usual power to rate, uh, weight rate ratio method that I've used before. About uh, For every few hundred blocks you put a few engines in and so on. So I've tried to get it as powerful as possible. But this will literally be the first test we've done of it. And since I don't want this test to go long, wrong, and we're on the 13th episode, I'm just going to make some act actual preparations. We're going to put some thrusters in here, just to make sure it works. Because I've got a feeling that if we start it up, it might not. Right, so we've got two extra thrusters in there. Let's hope we can stop. Right. And now the next thing we need to do is check that all the torpedoes have actually locked in place. So to do this, we're going to reverse, and then we'll go forward. So let's try this out. Oh no, this is not looking good. This looks like only one of the two torpedoes on the sides is actually locked on. So that me that this is this is a good learning curve to be honest. Cuz this means that each landing pad can actually be only locked on to one object. Okay. Right. Right, okay. Okay, we've learned that lesson now. So what we need to do is quickly hop outside. So this is learning as well as you, so you know now that the magnetic landing gears can only be locked onto one object. So we can just come com quickly delete these, and I'll quickly quit it while I'm deleting all these torpedoes. I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I've just deleted the torpedoes, so we've learned something now. So it means that each magnetic landing gear can only be magnetically attached to one surface that it's connected with. So that's something to bear in mind as well. Okay, so everything else is functional, so let's actually just cheat. No, we'll go inside, Aaron. Don't be cheating. You've got a crew to entertain. Right, okay. Here we go. Inside again. I, I definitely need to sort out an access route, don't I, for this thing. It's not effective at all. I'll get rid of this block as well. Right, we are inside, I hope. Right, there we go. So, now everything should be functional. We've not got any loose torpedoes. So, let's begin, this, let's begin moving forward once again. Right, so we should be building speed up pretty fast. The alien is somewhere out there. We should see it shortly. I'm not going to move anything. So we're gathering up speed. There's the alien. Just appeared. Captain, we have an alien in the target. We're going to engage. Torpedo tubes are clear. You need to get up to the maximum velocity first, Captain. Oh, copy that message. Uh, right, okay. We need to bring it up a bit, I think. I don't want to... Right. Oh no, we're running it. We've got. I don't think we have enough power. Right. Our target's inside, Captain. Target's inside. Clear to engage. And we've got a way to fifty. We can't. We can't hold on any longer. Okay. We're launching all torpedoes in three, two, one. Right. Torpedoes have launched. Oh, so many. So many. Oh, right in his face. Oh. <laughs> oh look at that, it's created his face. And that's how you do it. Have we got any left in the tubes? No! Clean house, clean house. Oh look at the aliens even bowing over. He knows when he's in the face of greatness. Look at this ship. Oh, There we go, the Freedom Cro Class Cruiser slash Torpedo Ship. Well guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to move over to the actual target head actually before we, we say goodbye. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching anyway, as the alien head floats off into space and everything's just littered with torpedo shaped cigarette sort of things. Oh look, there's a torpedo there as well. We've got different little bits, look, we've got little bits of snap torpedoes there. And there's his face, completely smashed in. Beautiful. So anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and as usual, 
I would like some of your feedback in this one to be honest. I've got this issue, I'm finished doing torpedo ships, I'm pretty bored of doing them, I want to do something else, so here are the options. We either go back to doing mining, we go and do something different, or we go to do some space station work. So give me some ideas guys, and I'll see you next time.